Welcome back everybody, this is Last Crusade Gaming, I'm the Course Jester, and yes, we are back to This is the Police. Um, so let's continue, man, we were on day th day three. Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. Construction of cinema museums postponed again. Legendary singer Gennaro Crespo comes to Freebird. Oh, we got we got this thing going on. Um, officers, um... We're gonna send uh, Robbins here, and we're gonna send Butch or Birch. Yeah, proceed. Uh, yeah, sorry about uh, the first video, man. If um, the cutscenes bug you, I don't know what happened with the recording, but if uh, you guys want me to, I um, what I can do is just cut the cutscenes out uh, if they keep doing that. Um, or I can try and figure out what's going on with it. Oh, there's a police station. Uh, labor market. Oh, we gotta fire, oh, we gotta hire someone else. We're gonna hire Lucas. You're gonna be on shift A. There we go. Done. Everyone's hired. We fired someone. Uh, vandalism report. So what happened? Uh, Fender escaped, officers unharmed. God damn it. You guys suck. Alright. Uh, a waitress named Mila reports that she's just served a chicken, Eddie's, and Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who she's seen on television this morning. The culprit is sitting at the window eating a burger. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna send, uh, both our officers. And I swear to God, Grandma, if you fuck this up. Vandalism. Oh, fender caught. Officers unharmed. Nice. Good job, Stavall and Grant. You're my favorite. That's right, we're already picking favorites. Alright, so they're back just in case uh, some shit goes down. Oh, we're gonna have to end the day soon. Alright. The waitress has mistaken a retired officer, Frank Nero, for a fugitive in question. Really? King Lewis and that. Mr. Boyd, my bouncer, stuffed himself with Mexican food again, and now he can't get off the can. Meanwhile, the line outside of the club is stretching around the block. We need someone outside to tell these guys to cool it down. All right, you know what? That is a perfect job for Robbins, man. He's gonna, he's gonna tell those guys to calm the fuck down. All right, so everyone's back. I really want to send SWAT into something. Maybe I should have sent SWAT to the club. That would have been cool. Uh, drug sales, all right. An anonymous call just came down. Came in. A clown carrying balloons at the skating rink is selling crack to teenagers. Holy crap! All right. You know what? Grant and Vandala go take care of that uh, that drug peddling clown. Can't have that going on uh, in my neighborhoods. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. No one night. Oh, my God. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. And one night, I pulled more cash than I've earned. In a what? Robbins quit? Really? Sure, take it, I guess. I just lost a freaking officer. All right, Birch, don't fuck this up. I can't believe that dude quit. What a son of a bitch. Um, you know what, Johnny? We need you for shift A. Because some jackass quit. So, um, we have 180 days to get to $500,000. Because our dude is getting, getting pushed out of the job, man. Alright, drug sales. A police arrive. A clown is seeing making balloon animals for kids. Cover it up in a... Covered up in raincoat and pretended legal or illicit customer. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. Take the clown onto the ice. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Nice. All right. So yeah, we have to we have to get to five hundred thousand dollars within one hundred eighty days. Um, oh, suicide threat. Nice. Good job, guys. 
I like Stavall. That guy, that guy's a boss. Uh, we'll wait for our people to get back, I guess. And then we'll end the day. Oh, I guess it, it, it doesn't matter because the clock's done. Oh, I can't believe that guy quit. End the day. Checkpoint day four. Alright. Feminist organization denied official resi- uh, Feminist organization denied official uh, Feminist organization denied official registration That's Freeburg Tribune The fact, Freeburn's number one paper Enemies using feminists to Oh, we already got some going down Destruction of property, City Hall parking lot. A member of the city's cleaning crew saw an elderly man approaching some expensive cars in the parking lot carrying a large, uh, long iron rod. The whole street could hear him shouting, Bastards! Thieves! Bloodsuckers! <laughs> Alright, All right. I think uh, I think Samadhi can deal with this. And, uh, you know what? I don't need to send two people now. You got this, Samadhi. You could do this, man. Don't commit serious crime and flees the scene. Okay, that's cool. What's going on? Oh shit, there's a homicide. Alright. Black activist Ronnie Moore was found shot outside his home. Alright, um, so. The burrito! You're gonna be the lead! And Armstrong, we're gonna put you on this one too. Mole, might as well, because we only have three detectives. And one homicide, so going on the case. Smotty was taken. So we only have six detectives. That's not good. I like how the detective's car is purple. What's going on? Carjacking in the suburbs gas station surveillance camera recorded a car that's on the stolen vehicles list. Alright, Austin, you're going. Kachi, you're going. Asano, you got this one. And it still leaves me a few people. Uh, let's see. Offender escaped, officer unharmed. God damn it, Samadhi. City Hall. The racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city. They're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to the local radio station promising to kill any black doctors, firemen, and policemen. We don't need any more dead police, especially not mere months before the election. The racists are gaining more followers and even some of our citizens supporting them. You'll have to fire all your black employees over the next few days due to mounting racist tension. I'm not doing that. You can't make me fire people. Cases. Archive. What? No. Uh-oh. Whoops, did I do something? Uh oh. We archived it. Reopen the case. Alright. The burrito, you're on the lead. The mole and Armstrong, let's do it. Alright, let's. Uh. The driver is nowhere to be seen. Search the car, wait for a safe distance. Alright, you know what? Yeah. Offender caught officers unharmed. Nice! Civilians got unharmed too. Sweet. Alright, suspicious individual. Corey Ramsey's mother, several children have expressed her concerns about a suspicious man wearing bifocals seated on the bench up beside the playground. He's been watching the children for over an hour and taking several photographs of them. Alright, so he's a creeper. Griffith. Purdy. Don't let me down. Where's the where's the burrito? How's the investigation going, boys? We gotta find them. Details. I need the details. How do you interview people, though? Is my question. Yeah, I understand who it is, but you can't ask questions. You can't interview people. Alright. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Nice. 
Good job. What's going on at the nightclub? Kazuki Tamura Dragon's Lair Club. Mr. Boyd, I'm hoping to find Berg's Martial Arts Club for first uh, expedition. I want to hold my sparring matches where no one of my students take on your toughest cop after the fight. I'll teach your man a few tricks. Something will uh, help you out within the streets. All right, you know what, Samadhi? Samadhi, you got to go kick some ass, man. I probably shouldn't be sending my cops to do... Uh, bare knuckle brawls in the streets it's probably not good uh... let's see dude i'm not firing anybody What? can i like delete this? no fuck you i'm not doing that alright your detectives present frames different versions that might have happened in the crime scene proceed the burrito i got three new frames open investigation all right. They get it wrong half the time, but a good cop can separate the fact from fiction. They know how to look at case materials for more professionalism and detectives working in an investigation. The better their instincts. All right. To get this up, so you'll need to figure out the true sequence. All right. So, drug lord. Back to investigations. Three frames, details. When the investigation pans out, you find yourself a suspect sometimes more than one. In these cases, te uh, detectives have to narrow it down in a single candidate. Alright, Travis Thornton is a known racist who already has several previous convictions. Alright, bring him in. Detective has Okay. Let's see. Also react different ways. Frightened thieves likely to surrender soon as the game is up. Brutal killer might want to see how many he can take with him. With more dangerous criminals, it's safer to send experienced officers and even the SWAT team. Travis works as a post loader. You know what? Kachi. No, 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 no. And Purdy. You haven't let me down, Purdy. Alright, so what we got going on? Fight! Kevin's throat bar. Bartender reports a couple of dancers started fighting over tips and catfight broke out on stage. Alright, this is a uh, call for Griffith and Tabaski. I butchered the shit out of that name too. What's going on? 311. Fight! Bartender reported a fight broken out between two patrons. Bar bouncer, apparently drunk, had climbed onto the stage. Local singer was performing and tried to do it with her. Alright, so this would be easy. Yancey. Yancey, you can take care of this man. Just one drunk person. Alright, so what happened? I swear to God if this guy fucking quit. Um, Chief, I just about nailed the uh, Jap and the couple... What? <clears throat> Chief, I just nailed the Jap a couple times and he was too fast for me. And one on points. I don't really understand the rules. So I can can't keep track of the points very well. But he was alright. He even showed us a few tricks after the match. I got carried away, a little pulled back. I think I could take the day off. Think I could take the day off? Um, so what? Samadhi got, he went home. Alright, on the stage, two strippers are going at it. It's gone beyond arguing, full on cat fight. The bouncers are fast asleep. Clearly, too wasted to handle the situation. The drunken patrons are happily watching the fight. Listen, girls, cut the crap. This is gonna get serious. Draw your service weapon, shut the music, and turn off the lights. Strippers continue fighting. Obviously, the police off. Uh, <clears throat> the strippers continue fighting. Obviously, uh, oh, oblivious to the police presence. Man, I can't read. 
Ask the bartender for a bucket of cold water and throw it on the combatants. Watch the strippers go at it and don't interfere. Step on the stage and try and separate the girls. Nice. See? You guys never let me down. Alright. Offender caught. Nice. Good job, burrito. Nice. You were able to arrest all suspects. Case closed. You're our first homicide. We got it. We did it, man. Alright. Yancey. Offender escape. Officer unharmed. It's alright, Yancey. I don't know how drunk I got away from you, but whatever. Alright, we're gonna end the day, man. Um, so, we're gonna end the day. Day five. Alright guys, well, that was this episode of This is the Police. Um, let me know what you think, man. If you like the game, if uh, you want me to cut the cutscenes out, um, I could definitely do that. Um, thank you so very much for watching. I'm the Course Chester, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye